may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life.
Amen. The 
Terror has made this of basic. Also, he never has to be basic. He has to be by his native blood and his food for the house of Israel. Let them see and go within its standard. The world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. And the presence of the Lord, for he has come. He has to judge the gate. This one. He will judge the one with just and the people with fairness will fall.
they sing, they sing the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. They sing the song of Moses and the song of the Lamb. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today it is right and fitting that we come together to celebrate the successful completion of our graduate students, parents, guardians, friends, GMI sisters, MMI fathers, their collaborators, members of staff, and all our invited guests. We are here to celebrate the success of our graduate students. And deliberately, we chose as our first activity today the celebration of the Eucharist. Because in this celebration, we invite Jesus Christ to join us in thanking our loving Father in heaven for his great and wonderful deed through the Holy Spirit. We rejoice and are glad in As Psalm 118, verse says, This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in For the Lord, I will be glad in you. Amen. Amen.
the redeemed people, singing a hymn of victory, the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord, O my, o Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. It is a song that was sung at the great Exodus event in the life of the Israelites, when God showed his power over the Egyptian oppressors and his redeeming love for his chosen ones, bring them from the land of slavery and bring them into the promised land, a land flowing with honey and milk. Then Ricky, it is the new exodus of the chosen people who sing a hymn in the praise of God and his servant Jesus Christ the Lamb. The new Moses who frees his chosen people from the dead jaws of sin and death through the redeeming cross and bringing them into the promised land, a land flowing with honey and milk but of a different kind. My brothers and sisters in Christ, to sing a song when one is in a happy mood is a human reaction. To break into a song, even if it is spontaneously composed and has only one chorus and no verses, it is simply a human reaction, especially if and when something great has happened in our life, like the celebration of the day. It is therefore being true to ourselves, true to being a human being, that we bring the song of great joy on this great day, celebrating the success of our graduating students. For it is the real academic battle, it was the real academic battle, leaving some injured for life because probably they felt they deserved a better mark, or they deserve better treatment. Unlike the final battle that we have been told in the first week, before entering our heavenly homeland, as the vision was presented to us this morning, there is still another battle in the horizon for you, the graduates. A battle in the labor market. As we all plot you into the labor market, mind you, there is another battle that you have to win. So you are graduating from a, an academic battle into a battle of life. This may even be harder, this battle might be even tougher than the one you are to wage in the classroom door. For as you come to realize, Get a job after this is not easy. To get a job after you paid for your interview is not plain sailing. Some have gotten their jobs even before the interview, and you are left out. You are better qualified, and yet you remain unemployed. This can be a tough experience, a serious battle. How did they do it, you may ask yourself. Oh, probably they had the right pathway to access those possibilities. To remain on the job is not a plain sailing. You may be asked to make yourself available for the boss to satiate his or her passion in the tough battle. In your daily commitment to your job, you may find yourself isolated by your fellow workers, not because of doing something bad or something wrong, but because you are just being honest, an honest worker on the job. Putting your work, putting into your work a just portion. Coming on time, looking off late, you miss your life. Because you are convinced that this is what you are supposed to be doing, 
in order to beat the deadline on from fellow workers that is a challenge. And they may react to that. They may rise against you because you pose a little challenge to their life. And when they start persecuting you, not because of the wrong things that you have done, but because of doing the right thing. And maybe they might even ask for you to be fired over post accusation. Again, this is not an easy battle to win. As you go about doing your work, you may think of buying shoes and full uniforms for some of your very poor pupils. And you didn't bring them into your house for lunch every day because you know where they're going at their homes. There's nothing, literally nothing to eat. Your only parents are related, your brothers and sisters may be start accusing you of not caring enough for the members of the family. So they rise against you because you are doing the right thing. Caring for the needy, caring for the poor. And the parents, relatives, show up and start isolating you in the family and saying, you do not care enough for us. Yet, at the time when you were in school, you were first of all sponsored by the young sisters, and maybe you were looking for jobs to do in order for you to find money that you needed for personal needs. But after graduation, after getting employed, they come around and say, you do not care enough. That can be a serious public work. You may actually be fired without proper reason and lose your benefits, be thrown into the street. One may, not never, may never know the reason as to why you've been fired. At the same time, remember, it is this battle that about the way as you can go today. But for the word of God today, from the God's passage, the passage, the word of God gives us hope. Give us guidance and giving promises a right to anyone who is going to stand his or her ground when it comes to doing the right stuff, the right thing. Trusting in the Lord who says they will persecute you, you will be hated by all for my, my name's sake. But remember, not a hair of your head will be lost. Your endurance will gain you your life. That's what the gospel says. So it gives us hope. It gives us meaning to any suffering that we may encounter because of doing the right thing as we go about doing our work. Yes, indeed. It is by endurance that you gain your life in Christ. May you be advised. You do not seek either solutions in situations like that. Because it is easier to fall back and forget about your morals why the situation is so challenging. You go for easy answers. And the Lord, for situations like that, stand your ground will give you strength to soar above clouds of challenges like an eagle. For he loves you and dies for you. So that you may have life and have it in abundance. Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam had this to say. All birds shelter during the rain. But the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds. All birds shelter during the rain. But the eagle avoids the rain by flying above the clouds. Meaning, Problems are common, but attitude makes the difference. Especially your attitude towards God, the one who makes you rejoice today. And so as we go about doing our work today, as we go about doing our program today, we ask the Lord to continue to bless our graduating students. May the Lord be with you always. Protect you, guide you, inspire you, strengthen you in the service of your neighbor. And may the Lord continue to bless our university so that we may have food from this university so that we are going to be at the service of our local church. And God took us all today.
பண்ண ரெக்கார்டு பேசும்போது ரெக்கார்டு
This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Joseph, our patron, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we lay for unf unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our Reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, at once the peace and the salvation of the world. Be pleased to conform in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, Chajulung our Bishop, Benjamin Piri, our auxiliary bishop, and order of the bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people, you are again for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are present to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, 
through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the Lamb.
Having been fed with the one bread by which you constantly renew the human family, we pray, O oh Lord, that from participation in this sacrament of unity, we may draw a love strong and pure to help peoples in their development and prompted by charity to fulfill what justice requires through Christ our Lord. Your response is Amen. May Almighty God bless you in his kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May he nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May he turn your steps towards himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, the mass is entered.
Well, 